New tonight, a Phoenix woman says that DES mailed a debit card for jobless benefits to her mother, who's been dead for three and a half years. Ashley Smith told Team 12's Bram Resnick she was shocked when she got it, but then a second letter from DES the same day scared her. Ashley Smith says she got two letters on Monday, the second one to a woman who's never lived at her house. Smith says she's worried the scammers are winning and the people who really need the benefits are hurting. It just blew my mind. I didn't know what to do with it. It was a letter in Monday's mail for Ashley Smith's mother. The only problem, Pamela Smith died three and a half years ago. There was a debit card for my deceased mother from the Arizona Department of Economic Security. There was a second DES letter, this one for a woman who's never lived at the family's Phoenix home. I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm scared, you know? Like, am I gonna get in trouble for receiving it? The bogus DES letter is just the latest sign of a serious fraud problem. It alarms me that people are scamming DES and succeeding. DES says it's flagged hundreds of thousands of jobless claims as potentially fraudulent and closed thousands of accounts. But the crackdowns hurt people with legitimate claims. There are people who are seriously in need begging for assistance and, and just can't even get a hold of DES. DES says Ashley Smith can destroy the debit cards. The agency will investigate. It is Using. a huge mess, and there's another term I'd like to use for it, but it involves curse words. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Okay, Bram, thanks. The 12 News I team is taking a deep dive into what we know about unemployment during the pandemic. You can see it in our brand new series on video, Everything You Need to Know About, in the 12 News app or 12news.com slash YouTube.